Hello guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Bella, again. Two, three, let's switch this up. I wanted to give you some tips, guys, to avoid spending too much, especially when you live in Venice. First of all, if you live far away from your university, um, if you live on the mainland or if you live like on the island but far away from the university building and you, you have to take the, the ferry to go to uni all the time and if you think that you're gonna use the ferry all the time, what I would suggest is for you to go to the ticket office and get the Carta Unica, Venezia Unica card and get a monthly or year a monthly pass which costs if i'm not wrong around 25 euros and with that you can go anywhere you can take every transportation so you can take the ferry you can take um, the buses the tram um, whatever to go anywhere even on the mainland so you can go to marquera you can go to um to master so it's really really cool if you think that you're gonna need to take public transportation all the time because if you get tickets every day you're gonna spend at least three euros per day so it's not worth it so get the monthly pass and guys remember when you go get the monthly pass just tell the office that you are a student and so that they can apply this discount to your monthly pass because if you don't tell them then you're gonna pay as a tourist and tourists pay a lot of money on transportation for instance a ferry ride for a tourist would be seven euros around seven euros whilst for us students or people that live here it's only one euro fifty so have that in mind it's really really important if you don't tell them you're gonna pay a lot of money for the monthly pass also if you don't want to spend too much and what another thing that I would advise you to do is to go live on the mainland Venice the island is a very well-known island it's a very well-known city and it's a touristic place so there are a lot of tourists so it has become a really expensive city so if you want to save money i would suggest you go live on the mainland in places like mestre marquera and places that surround the island because it's way cheaper but if you want to have like a full experience on the island then it's not a story of course because living on the island it's totally different like it's beautiful and it's really nice to like if you have the opportunity to do that then i would advise you to do that because living on the island it's it's a unique opportunity and and even where it's very very rare and the lifestyle it's completely different you don't have like all the commodities that you have on the mainland so and but you have like so much more and it's it's simply beautiful so if you can afford it just stay on the island but if you want to save money then go to the mainland and honestly the mainland by transportation is like only 10 minutes away so it's not even that far you know you can come you can still come to the island like every single day without stressing too much because it's not far another thing that i would suggest is if you can go there because in the canteen you have like lots of options like a lot of options vegetarians and also for i mean for you vegans there are less options but there are a lot of food at the canteen university canteen i mean it's not the best food in the world of course because it's not mama's food it's not your mom or your granny's food but it's pretty good and they offer mm, a lot of meals that really can satisfy you you have a first course second course plus dessert and the first course could be pasta rice or I don't know soup 
and second course could be a salad um, or veggies and protein and then you get a dessert fruits whatever beer wine coke whatever or you can also go get pizza at the school canteen which is totally mind-blowing and you've got unlimited drinks so if you've been given the opportunity to go to the university canteen i suggest you should go because your expenses are gonna drop like significantly one last tip that i have which i feel like it's a game changer apart from going to the canteen is you have to download an app and guys this video is not sponsored i just wanted to share some tips especially for the newcomers you have to download this app which is called too good to go and this app was like created to avoid this so if you go on this app you get a list of like restaurants or stores that um, have joined like this program and then you just click on whatever you want to get let's say you want to get some pizzas or you want to get some bread you want to get some pastries you just click on the restaurant that you like you prefer and then you reserve a spot and then you simply go there and they give you like lots of like whatever you want and like let's say you wanted pastries they're gonna give you lots of pastries and by doing this you're gonna like save a lot of money on you know good good products literally so you can get vegetables you can get bread you can get pastries you can get bakery you can get like a lot of stuff so use this app because it's a real game changer and it's like good food it's really really a game changer so use this app guys i don't know if you and i don't know if you get what i'm saying guys do you get what i'm saying also, one last thing guys, if you're like a party person or if you love to go out for dinner with friends, which is, I believe, an important thing to do and it's, you know, dinner times and night out with friends are important times, especially uh, that help you bond with friends. Um, but you still don't want to spend too much money because, you know, you're a student and you're broke. Um, what I would suggest is to organize things at home. You can do dinners at home. Let's say if you're like in five people, you once go to a friend's house, then you go to another friend's house and then so on. And you just like do dinners at home, which are way cheaper than restaurants. Um, dinner especially here in Venice another thing that I would suggest is to organize parties at home lots of students do not keep track of their expenses which is I feel which is really really important to do because once you do you know how much you spend per month and I used to not track my expenses and when I decided to track them I realized how much I spent and I was like horrified because I spent a lot of money on I don't want to say useless, useless stuff but like not so important things you know and so I decided like to prioritize certain things and others based on what I needed and yeah and also there are, there are many apps available that um, keep track of all like the expenses if you're like a student on a budget as i am you don't want to spend money but we're students we are young we need to enjoy life so if you're a student on a budget you shouldn't like prevent yourself from having fun because there are like lots of other ways to have fun and you can do that even by uh, for free by just going out for a walk with friends meeting friends um, doing just by doing pyjama parties and so on because you know having fun is not only based on how much you spend you know I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and click on the notification bell to be updated so you don't miss a single video that I post 
and guys let me know if you want to see how much I spend on monthly basis. Yo, no.